the Milwaukee Bucks, they've got Giannis Antetokounmpo. I think he is being a little bit overrated this season, currently ranked number one on uh, on ESPN. No, no reason for that, in my opinion. Number uh, four on Yahoo at the moment. And I do worry, Mike Budenholzer won't be quite as aggressive in the playing time that Joe Prunty and Jason Kidd were, playing him 37 minutes a night with a sore knee. Budenholzer's always been a little bit cautious in terms of playing time, so that could drop him back. We know there is a lack of threes from Giannis as well. Obviously, really still solid in the first round, in that middle to upper portion of the first round, but at pick three or even pick one, I think it's a little bit too high. Eric Bledsoe, really underrated, 56th on ESPN, 43rd on Yahoo. Top 25 guy last season, no reason to think that can't happen again this year. While Chris Middleton, another top 30 type of a player for this coming season. He's being drafted right in the right zone. I think Brook Lopez is a significant upgrade at center. Maybe won't be as good as he was in Brooklyn, but should be better than he was in Los Angeles. Really strong as a late round type of pick, a high free throw percentage shot blocking guy. There aren't many of those guys around, and Lopez can be that guy in the uh, in the 80 to 100 type of zone in drafts. And then not many other draftable guys. Malcolm Brogdon looks to be the starting shooting guard, but I'm not sure he's actually got top 100 potential. I know for a fact Tony Snell doesn't. So even if he starts, Snell is not going to be anywhere near uh, the fantasy relevant zone. And Sterling Brown and Ursan Ilyasova are maybe some deeper league guys that we can pay some attention to with Ursan Ilyasova getting back up for and maybe even back up center minutes for the Bucks this season.